Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn how to start the chat within Microsoft Teams and different features around Microsoft Teams chat that you might not have looked at and very efficient and very nice features that I'm going to discuss in this particular tutorial. So in order to start chat, nothing fancy, you have this chat feature here, right? So the chat icon, click on the chat icon and then you can start this chat basically chatting with anyone within your organization simply by clicking on this new chat or press ctrl n okay so if i press ctrl n it will open the new chat here now you have to select the name or email or group or tag basically of the people that you want to chat with right so say for example i want to chat with multiple people at, at the time right so if i just want to chat with single person i'll simply type in say for example their username right or email so i have started typing in and then just select that particular person right and i'll say you know start typing in the message there right so as soon as i'll choose that i'll simply say you know go ahead and type something right so you'll see that the message has gone through right so basically we simply go ahead and type simple message so this is how you are going to chat with any person uh, individually right now there are many other settings basically that you can go ahead and do so what all different features are available in the chat so this is individual chat with a particular person so if you just hover over you will see that uh, the details of that particular person whether they are available what when they are seen right so you can you know see that uh, you have different options here you can start a video call or you can start an audio call right and, and then they have the feature of the linkedin profile as well to find the people with that particular name right or you can send a quick message from here itself and you'll get the contact information below this here below this section here okay where, where you can copy the email and other details if they are displayed right now if you go here in uh, below you'll see the files activity and linkedin so if say for example any files are being shared with that particular person if you go to files you will see those files appearing here which are being shared with that particular person that you are chatting with okay if i go ahead with two more you'll see the activity right and then we'll see the linkedin all right so it will basically get the linkedin results if you want right uh, but you need to connect your account right so that's absolutely fine if you want to go ahead and see you can connect your account and you, you can see the specific profile there right but in activity you will see different uh, activity about the particular person all right if you want to add more tab click on the plus sign here and you can search different apps that are available and you can add those into the tabs here okay so that's basically say for example i want to have the excel tab as well so i click on clicked on excel and then pick an item right so say for example teams chat file okay so there is nothing at the moment all right so th there are no files at the moment but let's see if i can get some other app as well so let's say for example uh whiteboard okay so i want to add the whiteboard as well here so i'll simply select the whiteboard app and then we'll see say for example name this whiteboard i'll save it and then you can see the whiteboard appeared here right and this demo whiteboard is basically available for both of us to work together right which whomsoever we are basically going ahead and chatting right so here you, you can see different links videos etc that can be worked upon so for example notes uh, we can collaborate uh, on a different notes right so i can you know uh, pick a particular note and then type in something here and the other person can do the same thing right so basically it's more of a collaboration between two people here right now this is chat feature if you just want to do one-to-one -one chat now say for example you want to do group chat right so the option is absolutely similar we'll simply click on this little icon right and i want to create a group all right so for example testers and developers group or just testers want to talk or developers just want to talk so we simply add only the members that we want to chat with okay so i'll simply go ahead and add one member there and say for example hypothetically there are two members and then in the right hand side you will see this little drop here right so icon click on that and then you can name this group okay so i can say this is testing or this is something related to regression testing 
okay so something related to regression testing or if you are in some other domain hr or finance anything related or any common discussion that you want to have you can name the group accordingly right and as soon as you will name and you know click in the message or hit enter you'll see that regression testing group has been created and it is showing two members basically there you know displayed right now if i just start typing in right uh, this is where i can start typing in the messages and then send the message now this message will be available to everyone who is part of the group you'll see that i have added these two guests here to the chat and then change the group name to regression testing all of that will be appearing here in terms of the layout it will be exactly similar as we have seen for the single uh, person and then you can add different apps and different tabs here as well by clicking on the plus sign right as and when required and based on the need then in the right hand side you have this video call option okay and the voice audio call option you have the option to screen share as well which i'll cover when we make the real uh, video call with the with one of the person and then you will see in the right hand side you have this view and add participants right so, so for example you want to see how many participants are there in this particular group click on this and you will see all the participant list you can go ahead and leave the group you can add more people to the group if required okay and then if you want to pop out this particular chat click on this and it will pop out this whole chat into a new window and it will be a completely different window that pops out which is having absolute similar functionality that you see here okay now let's quickly go through and see some of the details or basically some of the features that are available here okay so here if you see for message the the formatting or the options that are available there are a lot of formatting options that are available within teams to format your messages accordingly so if say for example i click on this format it will give me this whole window appears here right the format window right if you, if you click on this plus this a uh, icon right it will show all of this me these messages so this is similar to what you see in the word and any other microsoft tools basically this is for bold italic and un underline and this is for the strike through okay say for example i will type this is demo message okay so let's make this bold right so it has made it bold let's make this italic you underline this right and you strike through this okay so these are some of the formatting option right so now i'll change it now what is this this is highlighter right so if say for example i highlight with any of the color i can choose as a highlighter there and this is highlighter okay so you'll see this message has been highlighted now what is the next thing i'll choose no highlight and then move next what is this this is about the font color okay so you can choose different font colors so for example i want to type in red this is different font color right so you'll see you'll see the message has been typed in into different font color the next thing is the font size right you can have different font size as well say for example i want to have this as a large right so i'll simply highlight that and click on large and you'll see that this has been changed to the large size okay similarly if you move next you will see that this uh, there is an option for heading heading one you know mono spaced all of that is available here so for example i want to type in the heading and make it as so let me change the font size to medium okay and then change it to heading two right so you'll see that this is now converted to heading two and then here if you see this is more of clear to clear all the formatting okay so if you choose anything and clear all the formatting the formatting will get removed this option here is for decreasing the indent say for example let me move here and increase the indent you will see that it has been indented right if i want to decrease the indent simply use this icon or click on this icon right let's increase the indent and then let's have the bullets as well right so say for example i want to have some text there another text and another text okay and i want to format it or make it bullet point right simply select all of that and click on this bulleted right so this is unordered if you want to have ordered bullet list click on the numbered list okay it will change it to one to three numbered list okay then you have the option for the quote right so i can say this is quote 
right so simply highlight that and then quote it okay so it will quote that particular text there and if you want to insert any of the link in the message itself all right now this is whole formatting that i am doing with this message but i haven't sent it yet okay so this is the formatting option that we are discussing now within this i say for example want to insert a particular link right so i'll simply say insert or just say this is link okay and then I'll simply highlight say for example I want to insert a link for this particular link text so click on that and click on link right so it will highlight or will display the text that you have highlighted and then you have to enter the address right so say for example I want to enter https training dot rcv academy dot com right and then insert right so you'll see now this is an this is a link that is available okay and the link will be sent when you send this particular message right now this is another option for code snippet which i'll discuss later uh, which is mostly for the development team to send any of the code format right so say for example you are working in a development team then you want to send a code in java or python or json file you can format using the code snippet okay now this is for the divider or inserting the horizontal line so i can insert a horizontal line right and then after that i can type in the more details there okay so that's for the horizontal line then this is for the table and this is for inserting a column or row within the table right so i can also add different table right so different layouts so say for example three by three table right so you'll see the table has been inserted there okay so i can say just two columns there and then if i click on these three ellipses you can see that you have this undo typing repeat typing and all of those options if you want to discard this whole message that we have done all of this formatting you can simply click on discard or delete here okay but we don't want to delete we have done all of the we have understood all of the formatting options in microsoft teams now let's go ahead and send this okay so now i'll send this in the group and you will see this is how the message appears okay so let me maximize it you will see that this is what i have basically sent in this regression testing group wherein we all are members right so i have added two members and we are having uh, some conversation and this is how the formatted text will appear okay now basically all of these features if you are well aware and understand how you are going to use then you can format your messages in very well form and that will be really helpful and differentiating in terms of the usage or how you are basically communicating and coordinating with the two teams when working remotely now with the message that you have sent if you just hover over you will see that there are different you know um, icons available right so these are uh, different uh, emojis that you can basically go ahead and uh, say thumbs up or or heart or different uh, uh emojis to work in a collaborative manner that yes absolutely fine so i'll give a thumbs up for this right and then if you click on these ellipses here you will see that you have option to reply just to this message okay so say for example somebody i have sent this message somebody else wants to reply they can click on this ellipses click on reply um edit i want to if i want to edit something in this message i click on edit and then it will open the same window and i can edit and do the changes right so i don't have to basically resend or delete and then i can edit the message as well right so once i'm done editing i can click on this sign here and you will see the edited message has been has been shown and you will see the edited appears okay if you edit a particular message now the next option is about deleting then you have you can pin this message as well okay so i can say okay pin this message and then this message will be basically pinned here at the top okay so whichever message has been pinned it will appear at the top so you can basically if, it, if there are important messages you can see that yes these are the important messages that are available at the top okay the next option is around saving this message or you can unpin right you can mark it as unread share to outlook okay you can share the same message to the outlook email and you can have the translate and immersive reader okay so immersive reader will basically load this whole message into the immersive reader right so we can simply so if you see this right so you, you will see that it has basically displayed all the different message that we have sent here right 
so i can go back right and if i go to the ellipses here again then you will see that if you go to more actions you can create task create work item or create a poly which we'll discuss uh, when we are discussing about the task and how you can work with the task within the messages right so this is a brief about the formatting option then there are more options that are available here at the bottom which we'll discuss in the next tutorial right so that's all for this tutorial on how to start a conversation or the chat within microsoft teams with the individual person or with a group of person and then name the particular group and also different formatting options that you can use for formatting the text within the chats so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching